Wait, say that again. Nanzo. Nanzo. Komba. Komba. Dabne. Dabne. Aga tangga dugu yes. Arang kat dozi yes. Aga. Aga. Tangga. Tangga. Dugu ye. Dugu ye. Okay. Aga. Tangga. Dugu ye. Oh yeah, that's your favorite thing to do, right? No, you didn't. What? <laughs> what did he say? <laughs> Welcome back to our channel, Sang Malula Tashile, Saudi Ka. So today we decided to take you guys with us out for the afternoon. It's finally warming up here in Boston. And for those of you who live in the States, in the northeastern region part of the States to be exact, you would understand how cold it has been for us all this past winter. We've had so many snow days and it has been really cold. So to finally see a warm day like today really excited us and make us want to go out and enjoy the day so that is what we're gonna be doing we're gonna take you guys out to a trail very close to our house it's only two minutes drive from here the reservation we're taking you guys to is called Middlesex Fells Reservation it's one of the biggest one around this area so uh, yeah like since the weather is so nice out we're gonna take you guys with us and maybe just maybe we'll end off this beautiful day with some chicken wings from our favorite joint Mrs. Sering absolutely loves the chicken wings from uh, this place so we might treat ourselves <laughs> <laughs> anyway hope you guys enjoy the video and yeah let's get going So that literally took us about two minutes exactly. <laughs> Alright, come on. Good girl. And oh my god, such a beautiful day. There's actually quite a lot of people. I'm not even surprised. Look at this. The little car park's completely well almost full. It's like 80% full. And this is the entry to the trail that we are going to enjoy today. This one is the blue trail and you can tell by the little um, strip of blue wood right there. See so quite a lot of people out and about. It looks like this is the blue slash red okay. trail made as well. Okay, let's go this way. We usually go that way where those people are coming down, but for today we'll be adventurous, I guess. <laughs> Look at the water. <laughs> As I said, like it's been a pretty cold winter this year, so it's nice to finally get out of the house and enjoy a little bit of um, spring warmth. So pretty. Right, I don't know where this will take us. Well, <laughs> we'll find out. Yeah, the dashi dele. I need three. Jag is loud I'm sure I wish was doing the three. Uh, 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Being uh, there. Celsius maybe 15. Yeah, Boston la the next thing to go there. I'm there that thing that you love do. I'm sure you are busy. Cause in the month some there the chakwa do. So yeah, another three the And this I end the night with uh, chicken wings. Look at the weather guys. It's so beautiful. <sighs> it's 
so nice to finally breathe in some fresh air for a change. Should we go left or right? Uh, right. That's, oh shit. Huh? Is this still icy or? Yeah. Hmm. Yep. So you can really see how cold it had been here in Boston. You can still see a layer of ice on the on the water here. Wow, look at the trees. Ninjala. So a few of you have been asking for me to try speak Tibetan. I think I understand more than I can speak and Tibetan is a beautiful language but it's such a difficult language to um, to learn in my opinion I was saying that like um <laughs> some people mm -hmm. have been uh, wondering if I can speak Tibetan yeah yeah you're I at it. <laughs> no I'm not <laughs> although I understand quite a bit some of the words and phrases that's um, being said a lot, I do pick up on that. Like for instance, this place is absolutely ninja. <laughs> I'm a ninja. <laughs> Can I say it like that? Wow, this area is really nice. Oh, so serene and peaceful. This is definitely something we need after all the craziness that went down in 2020, huh? Wow, look at the water. Yeah, Ningjela. We haven't really done much walking, we just kept on stopping at every single like view area because it's so pretty. It's like so pretty and calming and peaceful and oh, it's just such, such a nice day. Look at that. What do you think? <laughs> All right, let's continue walking then. <laughs> Can you teach me a few phrases while we're just walking? Like what? Just anything like. No, babe. Oh, you know what I mean. And how do you say? Have to poop. No. <laughs> Uh, how do you say we are walking through a trail or something? I don't know. Oh, I'm going to go. 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 Kumba. Dabne. Dabne. Aga tangga dugies. Arang kat dugies. Aga. Aga. Tangga. Tangga. Dugie. Dugie. Okay. Aga. Tangga dugie. Oh yeah. That's your favorite thing to do, right? No, you didn't. What? <laughs> what did he say? No, you told me just. You taught me something else. I can tell. Oh, Dungie, like that doesn't sound very. It, that doesn't sound like what I asked you to teach me how to say. Dungie? Dugie. Dugie. Dug. Oh, means to go, right? Yeah. Dugie. Yeah, huh? I get scared sometimes about some of the words he teaches me because I don't know if he's actually <laughs> teaching me the right words or he's just messing around. Aga. Tungi Yeah, I got Tungi What does Aga mean again? Aga? Uh. Trail Aga Tungi Yeh So then yeah. it's right? Yeah <laughs> What? What's not right about that? Aga Tungi Yeah, it's like I drink poop <laughs> Huh? Wait, Aga means poop? Yeah. Oh my god Babe, why you teach me something like that? What is trail? Trail. I don't know the exact word, uh, but 
Like I said, that is why I don't know that many Tibetan words because I have him as a teacher. <laughs> it means that you keep on teaching me the wrong things. So, Aga means poop. Aga, yeah. Great. Now he taught me how to say poop and I didn't even ask for it. <laughs> Go on. Good girl. <laughs> I'm surprised that she managed to cross. Okay guys, so we are actually walking back to the car now. We reached the end of the trail and also it's getting a little late so we don't want it to get too dark and um, but most importantly we're both very hungry so tonight I think we're gonna order some chicken wings from our favorite joint that chicken wings are the best uh, if you're around like Boston area you probably know Wingstop is so so good so we're probably gonna get our usual order and yeah call it a night <laughs> yeah so we're heading home right now and just uh, gonna order the chicken online and usually it takes only 20 minutes for them to prepare so yes we know when a chicken dinner tonight you want to do 10 10 10 like three different flavors or so let's go with the two that we Original usually like 10 and 10 hot yeah. Louisiana do, do 10 to 10, yeah. Or do you just want to do Cajun? You know, the the Louisiana dry rub, um, Louisiana dry rub, and uh, mm -hmm. original hot. Mm -hmm. yeah, these they were good. on point. point. So today we're gonna um, add another flavor to our mix, Cajun. Hopefully, it's uh, it's good. Yay! In 20 minutes, we'll get to eat. You hungry? Dairy. Very yeah. wing stuff. All right, we are here. All right, time to pick up good. some chicken. You've arrived. Hi, um, I have a pickup for Saring. Okay. Saring, please. Chappelle. Here it is, yep. Oh, okay. Brilliant, thank you. Two bags of chicken goes for the two of us. Alrighty. That was nice and quick. So we have all this chicken in front of us. So here, this is the, what was this one? The spicy chicken, right? The spicy sauce. Yep. And then this is the Louisiana rub. This is a dry rub and it's actually one of our favorites. We always order this flavor. And then the last one is Oh, was this the Cajun, maybe? I think so. Yeah, and this is like the, the new flavor that we're trying out today and hopefully it's gonna be good. And obviously we're not gonna finish it all <laughs> in one sitting, but it's um something that we can eat for tomorrow or whenever. Okay, Tangbudela, the carrots, the shimbudo, the curry ranch now the dip chip, the sour original. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. We also have some seasoned fries here, or what's left of it. <laughs> we ended up eating almost half of it um, on the way back because we were so hungry. Right, let me try that new flavor. Okay. Is it good? Mm. 
Yeah, this, this, it's really good. Juma, wings top la. Chicken yours in a Cajun dish and the spicy, spicy mindura. Yeah, I'm this. Mmm. I'm blend down there, Marsha. Just the right amount of uh, spiciness. It's like zesty as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. A little lemony. Yeah. Oh, wow. Actually, I think this is my favorite now. Let's try another one of these. Cajun. <laughs> okay. You're like the beauty guru that you are. Pepe Shimbu. Look at the sauce on that. Delicious. Wow, this stuff is really good actually. Mm. I'm probably gonna end up just eating the one flavor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The yeah. next flavor I'm trying, flavor next. Could you try to go, Lena? Which one is this, dude? Original, the original spicy or something. Original spicy flavor. Cajun gajido dro. Ine the thoa dilo dro. Taro dikare. Spicy the flavor these colors. They're the Tabasco you do. Tabasco is one of my favorite sauces. Mm. It's like spicy and um, mm. zangy at the same time. And then there's two different types of people that eat their chicken. One is like you just eat it straight from the bone. And the other is that you pick it from the chicken and then you put it in your mouth. Mm -hmm. But you're definitely the first one, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm finally... Mm going to eat our another go-to of ours this one is the louisiana rub and it's the dry rub it's not spicy but it's just very flavorful is it still good Yummy. after tasting uh, cajun mm -hmm. yeah there's a little bit more garlicky yeah and a little saltier Mm. Well, mm -hmm. it's a good break from the spice, and it's really good with um, ranch on it. Mmm, mm, that sugar is so good. The Cajun one just. So out really of three, this is Cajun, it's number one. Mm -hmm. Louis, Louisiana dry rub is number two. Mm -hmm. And uh, our original spicy is number three. Mm -hmm. It's still good, but uh, after eating uh, Cajun, it's just like, it tastes really bland. I think this is all the chicken that I can eat for tonight and we still have a lot left but Mr. TC here <laughs> looks like he's still going but anyway we're gonna end this vlog right here hopefully you guys enjoyed the afternoon with us at the trail and also this very impromptu uh, chicken wings mukbang <laughs> right at the end here um, as always thank you so so much for all the love and the kind comments that you've been leaving us on all of our videos and yeah just leave in the comment section down below what are your go-to chicken wings joint around your area because we are obviously like big chicken wings people it it's like one of our favorites go-to's anyway thank you again for watching and we will see you in the next video Bye!